Namaste everyone. I am Dr. Namita S. from Drona Institute of Ayurvedic Studies. In this video, we will go through the question paper of AIPGT 2022, question number 41 to 60. Hope all of you have watched the previous 1 to 40 questions and if you have any queries, please leave it in the comments. Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Drona Institute of Ayurvedic Studies. I am Dr. Namita and today we will be discussing the AIPGT 2022 question paper. That is question number 41 to 60. The 41st question. According to Charaga, Bhinadam Shavadur Glani Pandudam Na Anna Kamada Associated with Santhaba is found in which Jwara? The options are Khabaja Jwara, Sadada Jwara, Punaravartaga Jwara and Pralepaga Jwara. So this is a direct reference from Charagam Chigilsa 3rd chapter that is Jwara Chigilsa and it indicates Punaravartaga Jwara. Now when we look at Pralepaka Jwara. Where is it found? It is mentioned in Madhav Nidhana and the features are Pralambada Eva Ghatrani Ghirmena Gauravena Cha. It is a Manda Jwara and it is mostly situated in Sandhi. Now Sadada Jwara. Sadada Jwara is the classification of Jwara based on frequency. That is Aho Ratri Sadada Go Dva Kala Anuvartade. In the span of 24 hours, the fever will spike twice. It is called sa Pratyanigam and it is Rekta Dadu Ashrayam. Now, in this context, what you have to learn is that the classification of Jwara is frequently asked in almost all the years. So, take uh, you have to prepare separate notes for the classification of Jwara that is according to Dosha, Frequency, then Shida Jwaram, Daha Jwaram, Vaikrita Prakrita Jwaram which was asked in 2020, then Sharirika Manasika kind of jwara vada balasaka is a type of jwara which was also covered in 2022 then the different types of da dadugada jwara andarvegi bahirvegi and vishama jwara which was asked in 2021 okay now let us move on to the next question according to charaka mahati neela pidaka is observed in which prameha pidaka so this is mentioned in charagam sutram and the answer is vinata so let us learn this through a small code. Imagine Vinatha is the name of a girl who fell down and she hit her back and stomach. So you get Vinatha and for back and stomach you get the site of this Pidaga which is Prishta and Udhara. So even if you are great, if you step on clay you will fall down. That is a quote that you can remember. Even if you are great. If you step on clay, you will fall down. And on decoding it, you will get what is great? It indicates Mahati. And if you step on clay, the clay here means clay them. Okay. And what happens when you fall down? There is avakada ruja. Okay, there is extreme pain. And usually when you get an injury, there is a bluish congestion of the area, right? So that you get Neela Pidaka. Okay. So, Mahati, Neela Pidaka and Prishtam Udaram. These are the keywords. 43rd question is a match the following. See, again, it is the from the context of Jwara. So, you have to learn Jwara from all points, Taragam and Susrudam, Madhav Nidhanam, all very importantly. So, Vishama Jwara Vega, Tikshna Jwara Vega, Stimita Jwara Vega, Nityam Manda Jwara. These are the four options. So, um, these are based on the natural characters of the doshas. The vishama or the unpredictable frequency is always shown by vada dosha and tikshnata is by pitta and stimidam is by kava. So when you get, if you get the three options correct, you can find that nityam mandajwara is vada balasada. Okay. Now 44th question. According to Madhav Nidana, the site of manifestation of disease Vyanga Roga is... The options are Gatra, Mukha, Prishta and Vangshna. So this is from Madhav Nidana, Shudra Roga Prakaranam. Uh, the shloka, in the shloka, it is specially uh, mentioned Nirujam, Tanukam, Shavam, Mukhe, Vyangha. So it is a direct reference. Every year uh, you get questions from Shudra Roga. So please give importance to that area. The next question. It is an assertion reason 
As surgeon in context to Prameha Roga, it is mentioned that 10 types of Kavaja Prameha are Sadhya, 6 types of Pittaja Prameha are Yapya and 4 types of Vadaja Prameha are Asadhya. The reason is because of Samakriyatva of Kavaja Prama, Prameha, Vishamakriyatva of Pittaja Prameha and ma- Mahat Atyavat of in Vadaja Prameha. This leads to Sadhya, Yapya, Asadhya respectively. So this is a very correct explanation and it is directly from Charagam Prameha Chikilsa. So when you look at the Nidana and when you look at the Samprapti, the Dusha Khadagam, you can find that there is involvement of Kapha and Medhas etc. So it is the treatment which is aimed at reducing the, uh, at you know cutting down the Samprapti is equal to the treatment of Kapajam. That is why the treatment is very easy or sadhya now next is a match the following so this is a point of confusion so you can write it specially in a notebook see shweta aruna shava and there is shweta aruna bhasu tanutvaja okay so these two you can write it separately and learn because it might cause confusion then there is sakandu saspoda saruk daladi and sakandu pidaga shava again similar terms are coming this is under the context of Shudra Kushtam from Charaka. So, uh, make sure that you learn all the Mahakushta and Shudra Kushta Lakshana very correctly. See here, there is one option which you can eliminate very easily. Dhaladi, right? Sagandu Saspoda Saruk Dhaladi and there is Charma Dhala. So, you can connect the word Dhala and you can uh, connect that. Okay? Then, as per Hadyoka Pradipa, Pradipika, Mahamudra, Mahabandha and Mahaveda are categorized under. The answer is Mudra Dashaka. Then, according to Bhava Pragasha, match the following. Amla Takra with Shundi and Saindava Lavana. Swadu Takra with Siddha, Takra with Trigadu, Khola with Hingu, Jiraga, Saindava Lavana. So, you have to find the indications of the following. So, when you look at the treatment principle of Vada Roga, almost in all conditions, the eleven, um, amla and levana rasas are preferred. So you can use that connection here. And swadu and sita, which is mostly used in Paitika conditions. Trikadu, uh, trikadu is mostly used in Khabaja. And if you connect these three, you can match the fourth option also. Now choose the following statements and choose the correct options. As per Bhav Prakasha, licking of Bijapura Dala with Madhu is indicated at sleep time for comfortable sleep. So here you see the pattern that Bhava Prakasha has a very immense importance in the APGT nowadays. So please go through the minimum make make a note of the most important points in Bhava Prakasha. Okay. As per Bhava Prakasha, Nasa Jalapana with three prasardi water is indicated for cure of Vyanga Palita Valida and penis. As per Bhava Prakasha, Ushna Jalapana with 6 Prasradi water is indicated. This statement is wrong and the correct answer is 8 Prasrita water. The first two statements are right. Ushna Jalapana is Tridosha Shamaka which is also right. As per Bhava Prakasha, Amshudaka is mentioned in Hemandarudu. That is also a wrong statement. It is mentioned in Sharadritu. Now, after uh, two statements are given and you have to find out whether it is true or false. Statement 1. Endemic ascites is produced due to panicum miliar, grains getting contaminated with crotalaria. Statement 2. The presence of pyrolocidin alkylides in crotalaria seeds which are hepatotoxic in nature leads to development of ascites. Both these statements are true. 51st question. Uh, in 2000, From the year 2020 to 22, there was... Uh, gain in importance of COVID related questions. So it is good to have an idea about the vaccines used, about the recent developments and the studies conducted in Ayurveda as well as modern regarding COVID. After COVID shield vaccine, the protection level of antibody antibodies are generally developed. The answer is two weeks after the second dose. So what are the different kinds of vaccines? When are they administered? The dose uh, the side and what are the possible complications you have to go through all that the window period for HIV so this also comes under PSM area 
the incubation period of the most uh, some of the most important diseases you should memorize and one hiv is one of the most important okay the answer is 2 to 12 weeks now as per kerenda samhita in shidkarma kapala bhati what is the process in shidkarma kapala bhati that is the question so here you can see the four options and only one of them is right mm, the the first option water is taken in through mouth and expelled out through nostrils that is the correct answer so you have to go through the uh, you can see questions from yoga, yoga mudra shat shat kriya this is very important so please go through all of that mm. which of the following is true as per shushruta samhita that is the 54th question here uh, if you do not even if you do not know the answer you can uh, narrow the options down to two see the first option is river flowing in western direction or apatya due to guru and the last option is river flowing in western direction or patya due to lagu so these are both about the western direction and they say opposite one is patya one is apatya so only one of them can be true which will give you a clue that the answer is either one or four okay now i'll uh, there is a small code you can learn it as west is the best okay west is the best western direction at patya that is it is the best and uh, why is it best because it is lagu right so west is the best 55th question according to charaga which of the following yoni vyapat is having shona the dushti as a main hetu here um, five yoni vyapats are mentioned if you go through the pattern of the question papers you can see that yoni vyapat is extensively asked every year so you need to study all the 20 yoni vyapat the dosha predominance the uh, causative factors the main lakshana and the yogas used these four points of all the yoni vyapat should be thorough in your mind here the answer is putrakni that is e only 56 According to Sushrida, which of the following is advice for you need to open in Garba Sangha Chikilsa? The answer is Krishna Sarpa Nirmuk. So, in this context, please learn Garba Sangha and Apara Sangha Chikilsa from Sushrida as well as Taraka. You can find this in Shariram. Now, 57th is statement question. Statement 1. As per Sushrida Samhita, Shrema Glani Pipasa. Sakti Sadhan etc. As men, are mentioned as Sadhyu Grihita Garbalinga. As per statement 2, as per Charaka Samhita, Nishtivika, Gaurav, Angasad, Tandra etc. As are mentioned as Sadhyu Nagat Garbalinga. So both the statements are true and you should be clear about the Vyakta Garbalinga, Sadhyu Grihita Garbalinga, the Mridha Garbalakshana and all the, the Ridhumadhi Lakshana. All these should be you know properly compared and studied because it can cause confusion 58th question as per charaka samhita which of the following yoni vyapit is observed in sagarbha avastha and it is also called apraja yoni vyapit the answer is asrija because it is labdha garbhe abhi asrija it is seen in pregnant state okay so again the importance of yoni vyapit 59th question in Charaka Samhita, Ashtavidha Kshira Doshas are mentioned. Okay, statement 2. In Charaka Samhita, Ghana Kshira, Ushna Kshira, Alpa Kshira, Amla Kshira and Chara Kshira are explained. So, the first statement is correct. Ashtavidha Kshira Doshas are mentioned in Charaka, Charaka Samhita and you should learn the treatment as well as the Lakshana of all that. Then, now statement 2. Khana, Ushna, Alpa, Amla, Kshara, Kshira are the five Kshira Dushti mentioned by Hari the Samhita. Okay. So, the statement 2 is incorrect. 60th question. Keela, Pradikur, Bijaga, Parika are four types of Muda Garba explained by which of the following Acharya. So, these are mentioned by Susruta in Muda Garba Chigilsa chapter uh, in Chigilsa Sthana. And uh, it is also mentioned in Yoga Ratnakara, so both the options are correct. So, we have covered the 20 questions from 41 to 60. I hope you have seen the video of the first 40 questions also. If you have any doubts, please drop a comment and we will get back to you. 
for the rest of the video please stay tuned to drona institute of ayurvedic studies thank you